What's up, mobile gamers? It's John's or Gigs back with another guide for you. It's going to be awesome. Um, I turned the music down a little bit, hopefully. Um, I don't want it to be too loud because we're pretty much just going to be talking right now. Um, if you guys did not know, uh, definitely watch the Arena News um, reaction and breakdown because there is a lot of stuff coming for the mid season to update super season two it's gonna be insane um we went over all of them in the reaction and we're definitely gonna be making a video on all the changes once they come into the game uh, but what we're gonna be talking about mostly right now is how to get ready for second ultimate so you can see right here we've got our heroes sorted by glory level you can sort them however you want um, closest to the next glory level would be more like this but right now we're gonna do sorted by glory level that's just the default that's how I do it and um, this is what most of you guys are gonna want to pay attention to right obviously you can you know filter by class and that makes it a, a lot easier for you so you can focus more on you know heroes for certain roles and stuff like that and if you guys didn't know the second ultimates are going to be coming to two of the healers, which is absolutely insane. And they are the only two ultimates we don't know about right now. So if you guys didn't know, we actually already know the second ultimates that are going to be coming for the other three, because there's five in total. So I will tell you who they are real quick. It's going to be Shell. Right here you can see she has the second ult icon. And you can, you can usually switch it, right? Once it comes in, you'll be able to switch back and forth um, for which ult you want. And that'll be mid-game too. So whenever you guys are using a hero and, you know, it's kind of working, but you feel like you're not getting enough use out of them in your ranked match, you can actually switch mid-game, which is really, really nice. Um, and it also shows you what the ultimate does. So right here, this is Shells. It's called Mass Nullify. You send enemies within the affected area floating and unable to move. And they float for five seconds. And honestly, this is a game changer for Shell. Her Dimension Rift is good, but it doesn't stay still. If they had it where hitting the button a second time would lock it in place, it'd be probably one of the best ultimates in the game. It'd be basically like a, a mobile Judix ultimate, kind of. But you can actually go in and see the replay file it tells you what it does on the bottom there and it shows you what it does so it literally sends them floating all three of them it did have a glitch right where it would like do the animation but they wouldn't float they would just sit in one spot with that glow under them so hopefully they fix that um but one of the things I want to talk to you guys about was you know what they are for the ones that we know about and then how to get them so we're going to quickly just uh, go over, we're going to click this skin real quick, just because I, I like it better. Um, we're going to go over the other two, right? I showed you shells, and then we have the pulsar response, and raise a repulsive barrier that hurts back at the attacker. So if you guys can see this, when you shoot at Jabali's shield, it will not only um, protect you, but it will redirect that damage back at the enemy and it's crazy good it's crazy good i imagine they're gonna reduce the cooldown or sorry extend the cooldown so it takes longer for you to get this ultimate because it's absolutely insane and it's definitely the better of the two jabali ults um when it was first introduced obviously a lot of the heroes have had a ton of changes and 5v5 has been introduced so the biggest counter to Jabali's second ultimate is going to be just not shooting at it and focusing on somebody else, right? Directional. If you're behind him, it won't reflect it as well. You can, If you shoot the shield, it'll reflect it, but you can shoot Jabali from behind like you normally would to counter his shield, and it will still do damage to him um, without reflecting it to you, which is really, really nice. And that's one of the ways you can counter it. So, obviously, you have the first part of being ready for the second ultimate and that is to go and look at jabali shell and skatey to see what their second ultimate does because you want to be ready when you see a skatey you want to be like okay does she have wanna dance out 
It throws out the instrument to deal AoE damage. Opponents hit by it will temporarily lose control of their movement and forced to move in one direction. This is huge, especially for objective-based game modes. You are really not going to want to get hit by this because it's going to force you into one direction and you can't move. So you basically are forced to just move that direction. And it's really easy for Skatey to get headshots because she knows exactly where you're going to be. Because It's not like it's a, um, a super fast motion, right? It actually is somewhat slow. It's just normal walking speed for the hero that you use it on. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to show us, which is very unfortunate. Um, not sure what's going on. There's the first one, right? But the second one won't play. So we're going to just go ahead pretend you saw it, right? I mean, you'll see it eventually. But you want to be ready on how to counter those. Um, there's not really a way to counter Skadi's ultimate. Um, you just kind of have to hope she misses her shots. And her teammates don't capitalize because before... When you had the ultimate out, right, her second ultimate was here in 3v3. So unless her, both her teammates were on you, it really wasn't that big of a deal. Because you'd get hit by it, you'd go moving, and your teammates would still be able to fight and um, pick up your slack and stuff like that. So it wasn't that big of a deal, but now, especially if you have three people, let's say you got a Johnny on the point, a Jabali on the point, and a Mark on the point, right? Jabali, Mark... And Johnny. If you hit the Johnny, he comes out of invisibility. If you hit Jabali, his shield goes down and he starts walking. So you right there are going to be able to force them in a direction that makes it so you basically get free damage because they can't shoot when they get hit with the ultimate. So be aware of that. And um, if you see it, make sure you go help out your teammates because while they're focusing on whoever is dancing, then you can shoot the person that is shooting them, right? So... Obviously, that is how you're going to counter them, but we're also going to talk about how to get ready for them in the sense of how are you supposed to get them? Because a lot of people are very worried um, that they're not going to be able to get them because I'll be honest with you, it's kind of tough. To get all of them is going to be tough if you haven't been playing um, for a long time like me, obviously. I play all the heroes pretty much the same amount, um, and then obviously Zero Kelvin's new, and Vincent is... Uh, paid so you have to wait to get him but like if you look uh osas and iris and um gloria they're all some of the first heroes that i got and that's why they're a little bit higher i have been trying to grind a little bit uh, it's kind of difficult but basically what you're gonna see we'll put up a screenshot right now of the the reward track, right? I think it's called the Road to Heroes or something like that. And so each hero has their own road that you can look at and it shows you what that is going to be. And it's honestly really dope. Really excited for it. So you can see that you actually go from like 0 to I think 1400, right? We'll have the picture up on the screen while I'm talking. But um, that is going to help you look at what you need to do and so you basically to get the second ultimates you're going to want to get every hero to 900 so right here we have all my heroes and you can see that everybody that has a second ultimate is at 900 jabali's my lowest i just got him to 900 like last game or something um and then also neon is 900 skady is 900 shell is 970 and then one of my favorite heroes, Iris, is actually um, at 1,100, which is really, really cool. And I'm very excited because we have not seen her ultimate. You can see down in the bottom, it doesn't have the ult change icon. And if you go to her ultimate, it's just one. It just deploys the enhanced healing field. She's going to get a second ult. Not sure what it is yet. We're obviously going to be in the waiting area for that. We're, we're hoping it's good. I think it's probably going to be damage, right? It's probably going to be something that deals damage or, you know, maybe a speed boost or something for everybody in a radius around her or something. That'd be that'd be pretty cool. I really think that the potential for the second ultimates on the healers is there. And Labula and Sindri already have second ultimates. So 
I'm not sure if they'll change him. There's obviously going to be some balancing issues that come into play. Are they going to, you know, when they give Christina her second ultimate, are they going to make it the same one that she already has? I'd imagine. Are they going to make it where it spawns less traps? You don't know. So there's definitely that to think about. And the 900 trophies is, it's not an easy task because each win in a regular game is 10 glory, right? So you can think of it like this. If you're just going to play straight out, you're going to need 90 wins, right? 90 wins to get that second ultimate. If you want to complete that whole Road to Heroes track we showed you earlier, you're going to need to get to 1,400. So that is literally going to be 140 wins. And that takes a while. So uh, one of the strategies I make sure that I tell everybody is when you go to this event tab, you can see the three times trophy challenge. So I would really focus on who you want to rank up because that gives you three times trophies for five wins. And that adds up. If you think about it, basically, instead of getting 50 for one hero for five wins, because one one win is, is 10, and then for every five games, that'd be 50. Then you actually times that by three. You get 150 trophies instead of 50. So that is a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of trophies. And it's going to count. It's going to take your games that you need to win and kind of cut it in half if you can use all of the three times trophies on just one hero. So I definitely recommend that. Um, it is definitely the best strategy is to use these for certain heroes to get them to that second ultimate stage. You don't have to get them to 1400, but just to 900 for that second ultimate if you don't really want the end piece at, nine, at 1400. Um, that's what you should do. Also, this is what we're gonna talk about. I have this in bot mode here to show you guys, you can get different modes. And this mode right here versus bot mode, play against bots. That's literally all it is. I definitely recommend this if you're gonna grind because the bots are an instant win. Some of them are a little difficult if you just stand there and let them shoot at you, like the Gatlin can kill you, the Gloria can kill you, if they have a Hunter, they can kill you. So definitely don't just stand around, you still have to play, but it's a, a more feasible option, right? Because this is going to be grind central. If you guys don't know, Crystal Assault is actually really good for Shell because you can use her first ultimate to deal damage to the core without even being at the core. You just throw it and then teleport away and wait for it to recool and boom, you're back and you're doing damage and it's an insta win. So definitely be grinding Crystal Assault with Shell. Um, if you think you're really good with one of the heroes that has a second ultimate, and you're gonna grind for that, I, I would try free for all because you actually get the highest amount of trophies for free for all. It does not say here, but it's actually, it's 12 if they didn't change it. So it's 12 or 14 if you win, and that is insane. So first place is 15 kills. You get uh, 12 or 14, maybe even 15 trophies. I don't even remember because it's been so long since I've played. Um, and that's with bots as well. So you can grind these out and definitely, definitely use it to your advantage facing bots. If you have somebody you maybe you don't think you can do very good in free for all because it's a, it's Jabali and you're not doing very awesome with them, you can jump into team deathmatch and face some bots real quick, and boom, there it is. You don't even I mean just sit and play bots. I know that that's kind of boring and tedious, but if you guys are you know, like some of the friends I have that have just started this game, you want that second ultimate for Jubali, and you don't want to sit and grind ranked because ranked is hard and it's not fun for you. You're like, meh, I don't really want to try really hard with ranked. Go into some bot matches in 5v5 if you really want to and just steamroll the bots and instantly get that 900. I mean, it's not going to be instant, but, you know, 90 games plus the trophies right here for the three times challenge. That's not that many. It's going to it's gonna really start to pile up, and you're not going to notice it after a while. Um, I think right here you can see my season, right? Um, let's see. Days played, 438. Is it in the overview? Yeah. So there you go. Wins, 193. So you can see right there, 193 wins is, is pretty good. 
That means I'm at 190. So if I were to be grinding with just one hero, I would already have their their second ultimate and their entire road to hero filled out. 190, I would actually have two heroes at second ultimate if I would use the same hero to win and win and win and win. And I'm not even grinding bot mode. Like that's actually, that's from playing ranked all the time. And, you know, playing with my friends in 5v5 casual. If you switch this to bot mode, forget about it you're you're gonna be grinding this so fast it's gonna it's gonna fly by and each mode can be used for different heroes if you if you're playing Jabali if you're playing shell and the good news is it's only five at a time so I know a lot of you guys are like wait only five that's not that many but the truth is most people don't have five different heroes all at 900. Maybe if you're a YouTuber you do, or if you've been playing from day one, like I have, then maybe you do. But, you know, you look at how many heroes I've got at 900, Aletta's almost there. So that's literally 4, 8, 12, 16. I have 16 heroes all at 900. And guess what? Once we get the ultimates back, right? When you see that we have all those second ults, I'm going to make sure that I get everybody up to that level. I'm going to make sure once I have the ultimates available for Jabali, right? Now my next goal is to grind all my heroes to 900 so I can get their second ult when it comes out. Vincent's going to be the tough one because, like I mentioned, right? You grind the bots. The bots know where you are with Vincent. Like, if you go invisible with Vincent, they will literally follow you while you're invisible. So just remember that. Um, it's definitely tougher than it seems. You know, Cosima, you can't grind with bots as easy. They just they just shoot them out of the sky. But somebody like Victor, forget about it. That's easy. You know, he's a good tank. He has a good amount of damage with him. And the bots aren't really going to be able to kill you that easy. So grinding somebody like Victor up to 900 on bot matches alone is going to be really, really easy. And, do I mean, don't even sweat it, you guys. Nobody's going to look down on you if you're grinding those bot matches. I mean, hell. I'm going to grind those bot matches literally right after this video. I'm probably going to play a few matches if I can get the time in, depending on, you know, college and homework and stuff. But um, I'm definitely going to be using some bot matches to level up my heroes uh, later on in the season. Once the patch hits, uh, we'll probably, we'll see where we're at with all my heroes. I don't think I'm going to be able to get all of them to 1400 by the time all the second ults come out. But for... All of my heroes to already be at 900 and a few of them are kind of close you know i've got more than half my heroes at 900 and that's a pretty big accomplishment and it's going to make it a lot easier when second ults come out because now you don't even have to worry about it they're already at 900 what do you i mean there's nothing else to do and grinding bots is not not a big deal especially if you're doing it for trophies and trying to get better at a hero it's the perfect way to practice you don't have to go in and play ranked. I know right now 5v5 um, casual isn't that good and 3v3 is dead, but once they have the mid-season update, all those modes are going to get re-energized and you're going to be able to play them more and I definitely think you guys should look into the bots thing. If you don't want to, you're like, oh, that's kind of tainting the second ultimate because then I'm not actually working hard for it. Totally understand, but for somebody like me that doesn't have a lot of time on their hands, to play all these heroes now that I've now that I'm in college and I've got YouTube and stuff like that, it's not as feasible to just you know I play a ranked game and all of a sudden all of this heroes at 900. It's something that you have to actually play them to get them there, and now that incentive is even easier to obtain because the bots are here. It makes it way easier to get to 900. You can use the three times trophies, and if you're curious, right, 900 is gold. So if you look, right, we'll look at Neon real quick. 900 is gold, level 5, right? So you're going to go level 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So once you are in that purple and then you use you do a match against some bots, you get that 3 times trophies, you hit that 900, it's going to change your glory symbol to gold, and that's how you can tell. And honestly, getting all your heroes gold is going to be a pretty tough challenge for some of you guys that maybe just started the game. But that's why the bots are there, you guys. That's that grind to get them up there, to practice with that hero. I promise you, if you get a hero to 
even 500, you're going to be decent with that hero. Maybe not in ranked, obviously, it's different playing against players, but bot matches for 500, that's 50, that's 50 games, 50 wins. And to do that with one hero is definitely not a small feat at all. So definitely be grinding those bots. Um, definitely be looking out for the three times trophy challenge. It's really awesome. It helps get your heroes up to that glory. And then when the uh, mid-season update drops, you're going to have those second ults right away. So definitely be grinding for you. Uh, you know, luck be with you guys if you're going for some, some 5v5. You can put it on quick mode too. Because you put it on quick mode and you either get bots or players, whichever is faster. Um, there's a lot of the times I've had it on quick mode just because that's the default. And it'll actually give me players over and over and over again if a bunch of people are playing. So don't be ashamed to pop this on bot mode. Go to your worst hero that has almost no trophies like, like Zero Kelvin here. He's got no trophies, dude. I know he's at 579. Some of you guys are like, oh, that's pretty high. But it is not that much for how often I play this game and make content for it. Um, so don't be afraid to play those bot matches because that's how you get the heroes up. And it's a lot easier to just chill and you know, watch one of your shows or a movie while you are playing T3 against some bots and just chill. And it makes the grind a lot easier for you guys. So hopefully this has been an informative one for you guys. I really hope you enjoy the content and hopefully you guys get those second ultimates by the time they come out. And if not, don't worry, you got all the time in the world. It's not a time limit by any means. The only reason I'm even doing it for Jabali is because I'm a content creator, so I want to have that second ultimate when it comes out. So that's the video. See you guys on the next one.